We try our best to get ahead financially, but sometimes we just fall a little short of our goals. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over nine reasons that may be preventing you from being able to get ahead financially. Reason number one is buying designer clothes. See, whenever I was younger, I always wanted to have the latest clothes and shoes. See, following the latest fashion trends was extremely important to me. And as I've got older and I look back at that time, I realized that I wasted a lot of money on things that didn't matter. And I realized that the clothes that you wear doesn't make the person that's actually wearing the clothes. So don't get me wrong. I mean, I still like having nice clothes to this day, but the way that I approach that is more strategic. So for example, I have clothes that I wear when I go into my office jobs. And then I also have some nice clothes to wear just whenever I go out. The clothes that I wear on an everyday basis outside of going into the office are clothes that fit my budget and may not follow a particular fashion trend at that time. My only concerns now is I like to wear things that are comfortable for me and also comfortable for my wallet. So if you're spending a lot of money on designer clothes and shoes, you could save a lot of money just by cutting back on how much you're spending on those items every single month. Reason number two is you always have to buy the latest and greatest technology. For example, Apple releases a new iPhone every single year. And for the most part, most of the updates on the new devices are pretty minor. There may be a faster processor or they may have made some minor enhancements to their camera. But is that really worth the cost that we have to pay to buy one of these devices every single year. So instead of upgrading to the latest and greatest technology, that money could be better spent by either paying off debt, saving, or investing in the very technology companies that you love the most. Reason number three is credit card interest. So if you've watched any of my previous videos, then you know that in my early 20s, I was in credit card debt shortly after graduating from college. I was a young kid at the time and I didn't have a lot of financial acumen, but one thing that I did have was the ability to walk into a store, get whatever I wanted off the shelf and walk out with it with only having to sign my name on a receipt. And while I continued to do that in my early 20s, I really wasn't thinking about the consequences later on down the line whenever the bill came due. Now, fast forward to today and credit card companies have become much more sophisticated on how they get you in that credit card trap. So you can go online and they now have things such as buy now, pay later that allow you to purchase items online, have them delivered to your home and you don't have to pay anything up front. Sounds great, right? Well, it does until you actually start to get your credit card bill and you start to see that you are now paying 20 plus percent interest on an item that you probably don't even have anymore. And I can tell you from personal experience that credit card interest is one of the sneaky ways that prevent you from being able to build wealth. If you're gonna be using a credit card to make purchases, then I would suggest that you get in the habit of paying it off in full each and every month. Reason number four is car payments. See, this by far was the number one thing that prevented me from building wealth. I was buying a new car every two to three years, and I had that mentality of, I'll always have a car payment. I could afford the car payment, but the money that I spent every single month on a depreciating asset prevented me from investing in real estate. It prevented me from investing in stocks, and it also prevented me from investing in myself. If having a nice car is important to you, then my suggestion would be is to buy the nicest car that you can afford, pay that car off, and plan to keep it for as long as possible. By doing this, you'll be able to save so much money over time by not continuing to pay a monthly payment on an asset that is going down in value. Reason number five is you have bad credit. See, having bad credit is costing you more than you realize. Having good credit allows you to take advantage of the best interest rates that are available at that time. So for example, if you wanna buy a new house, having a good credit score will save you thousands of dollars over the life of the loan. And also having bad credit could cost you the ability to get a job that would pay you more money that would allow you to start to get yourself on track financially. See, a lot of companies are running background checks on new employees 
And if you're flagged in the system as having bad credit, it could prevent you from landing that new job. Reason number six is you're eating out too much. See, many of us are living life on the go and eating out and having access to food delivery services such as Grubhub can be so convenient for our hectic lives. If you're eating out multiple times per week, you can cut your cost in half just by simply cutting back on the number of times that you are eating out every single week. Not only will you be saving money by reducing the number of times that you eat out every single week, you'll also be putting yourself in position to make a healthier lifestyle choice when it comes to food. It's no secret here in the United States that a majority of the food that we consume is extremely unhealthy. Not only will you be saving money by reducing the number of times that you eat out every single week, you'll also be putting yourself in a position to make a healthier lifestyle decision when it comes to food. Reason number seven is you don't have a budget in place. Having a budget in place allows you to know where every dollar that you earn is being spent every single month. And it allows you to identify the things that are eating away at your finances so you can make the necessary changes. Now, before putting a budget into place, I always thought that I knew exactly where all of my money was going each and every month, only to find out that I had less money than I thought that I would. See, having that budget in place ultimately allows you to make better financial decisions that will allow you to start getting ahead financially. Reason number eight is impulse buys. This is the thing that sneaks up and most people don't even realize it. Places like grocery stores are strategically designed to place items that most people will impulse buy near the cash registers in the front of the store. I can't tell you how many times that I have been to a store, I'm ready to check out, and I grab something and I rationalize it in my mind and I say, well, it was only $10. Well, I can tell you that this quickly adds up and saying it was only $10 or it was only $20 can quickly become a couple of hundred dollars every single month. So the next time you're heading to a store, it would be wise to steer clear of those impulse buys that they have posted up near the cash registers and at the front of the stores. Avoiding the small impulse buys will do wonders for your budget. Reason number nine that you can't get ahead financially is you are not investing in the stock market. In order to get ahead financially, we have to find ways to make our money work for us. And the chances of relying on the income from a nine to five job are simply not gonna cut it. This is where investing in the stock market comes into play. By consistently investing over a long period of time, we can set ourselves up for financial success in the future. See, we'll spend a lot of money every single month paying for an item like a car that is a depreciating asset, but we neglect things such as investing in a business and real estate or in the stock market. In my opinion, investing in the stock market has the lowest barrier to entry and virtually anyone can get started with investing. And if you're new to investing and you want to learn how you can invest small amounts into the stock market every single month in order to help secure your financial future, make sure you check out the next video.